Today what I want to do is explain how 59 Days to Have a Change got its name, how it became, and all that kind of stuff. So this actually started three-ish years ago when I decided to check my drawer of all of my exercise shirts because I like to cut the sleeves off of them because when I work out I get really sweaty and if you sweat with a shirt with sleeves you're gonna get pit stains and instead of throwing it out you just cut the sleeves off and you have a brand new shirt and you're good to go. Or you just take it over to sweatshirts and there's no stopping the scissors. But three years ago, I decided to count how many I had and I had 42 cutoffs, even though I just wore the same five every single time. So I decided to challenge myself to wear every single one and I posted a picture of that and named it hashtag 42 cutoff days. a home and if you are a youngster or if you are a parent odds are either you leave stuff at your parents house or your kids leave stuff at your house and once they have a place of their own you give them all their stuff back so that's what happened to me and also my parents moved so they didn't want to have like extra stuff so they gave it all to me and when I went through the boxes I found some more t-shirts either that were already cut off or that I could cut off so once I did that I decided to count my t-shirts again since I had added a couple to it and I had 59 so again I decided to challenge myself to hashtag 59 cutoff days those pictures I was in a much better spot than when I started so with the small portion that I had I wanted to challenge myself another 59 days afterwards just in the background not posting anything and see what would happen if I allowed myself to experience 59 days of habit change if I wrote down at least five goals that I had and see what happens if I look at them every single day write down my thoughts my feelings my stressors and go from there and thus this book was born. How it works is every single day there's something to read and that's exactly what I was going through. So these are my thoughts, my feelings, and my encouragements to myself. And that's why I wrote it. 59 days to have a change. And here's the crazy fun part about it and what I encourage if you have the book, if you're looking to possibly go through it and see what happens is when looking for positive change, it's good to incorporate multiple areas of your life. So it's not just health related, it can be family, relationships, money, growth, learning, business, career, anything like that. Because having those multiple areas shows you how everything works together. So it's a positive change in your life when you incorporate multiple things. So that's why I didn't want it to just be a fitness book. Like I have my movement and my food experiment too, and those are specifically for those things. But. 59 days to have a change, that's encompassing all of it. And that's what my coaching is all about, which I will tell you about later on this week. So stay tuned to find out how all of this is incorporating together and how I am actually going to be using my 59 days to have a change with my new coaching. I hope that kind of makes sense and brings back why I chose the number 59 because it was literally, that's how many cut off t-shirts that I have still back to like the same five that I normally wear, but we will try.